Welcome to After Hours with the TF. Let's talk about money. When it comes to money, I know that right now there is a ton of fear, a lot of confusion, um, a lot of overwhelm even around what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. And I wanted to share some really specific strategies and ideas that will help anyone, whether you are a business owner or not a business owner, um, to be able to navigate the cash crunch. So first of all, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a financial planner. If you make any decisions, I recommend that you talk to a certified professional who's licensed to do so. I'm sharing just what I'm doing. So first of all, um, first of all, I think three major areas of concern are actually um, running out of cash, um, which might be our personal finance or our business failing, which might lead to losing staff, losing products, or our business entirely. I think a second area of concern is actually in our personal finance with a lot of similar challenges. And then um, thirdly, and this applies equally to business or uh, personal finance is a personal crisis, whether that's a health crisis or with, whether that is a loss of an important relationship, maybe because there's a lot of stress and fighting over money. And at the end of the day, I think probably what most of us are really seeking is a sense of control. And so in all the strategies that I share here, really at the end of the day, it's about how can we get back to feeling um, calm, clear, confident, which gives us control. And once we have control, now we can be, con we can be creative. And um, when it comes to a cash crunch, the name of the game actually isn't money, believe it or not. Um, the name of the game is time. The more that you can push your crisis line out, the better position that you're in. So a very quick example is if you've got $5,000 a month in regular expenses and you've got $5,000 in the bank, that means you have one month of runway. If we can cut those expenses in half to just $2,500, then the exact same $5,000 in the bank now gives you two months of runway, right? And why does runway matter so much? Why does time matter so much? Well, first of all, if we're going to pivot in our careers or in our business, we need time to be able to find a new job, gain some new skills, meet some new people, and maybe do job interviews. Like there's a whole process there, right? In a business, if we're pivoting, maybe we need to hire or uh, rearrange ourselves with certain teammates. Maybe we need to launch a new product or service. Maybe we need to discontinue a certain product or service or put it on pause. Maybe we need to um, fire up some new ad campaigns, websites, marketing assets, or whatever the case may be. All of this takes time. Now, a third and very unique variable that has not really, uh, does not show up as much maybe in other crises is the fact that this pandemic is not a long-term thing either. Like, for example, when you think about the credit crisis like we didn't know if that would like wipe out banks permanently. <laughs> we didn't know if, and in fact it did wipe out some banks permanently. Um, and we didn't know really what that looked like if it was gonna be like a multi-year situation or what. Whereas with this pandemic, you know, it's, it's gonna be me measured more or less in months, not years. And it's tough to see that right now, um, but in fact it is only gonna be measured in months. So sometimes, just being able to extend our runway from one month to two months or two months to three months can be very, very, very powerful to just kind of like wait out the impact of what's going on with the, with the pandemic, right? There's a little bit of a waiting game there. Now, not waiting in the sense that we need to sit around and do nothing, um, but we need to keep buying that next week, that next month until we can get to the other side. It's kind of like a diver has only so much oxygen in their tank to swim below sea and make it up on the other side, right? And if, uh, if we don't have enough oxygen, it becomes a very panic situation and we're scrambling, doing all kinds of emotional, reactive, possibly uh, damaging things to our body just to try and get back to the surface and get some oxygen. So we need to strap enough tanks of oxygen on our back that we can make sure that we're gonna make it to this other side. So that's what this whole series is. Um, I'll try and shoot one video per night maybe and share it with you so that we can make our way through all these strategies. There's about 10 in total.
and hopefully one at a time uh, can give you some meaningful insight on what you can do to navigate the cash crunch. Now, if you want a bit of a sneak peek and you want to get a little, get a little bit ahead on what it is that I'm talking about now and going to be talking about, including uh, some free training and a free template, you can head to navigatethecashcrunch.com. And at that website, navigatethecashcrunch.com, you'll be able to throw in your name and email address and get access to some training and some templates. So uh, perhaps I'll see you over there. And um, whether I see you there or not, I'll see you tomorrow when I share the next piece of how to navigate the cash crunch. Talk to you soon.